Hello everyone, and welcome to Simplifying Logarithmic Expressions. So what we're going to be focusing on in this video is taking um, multiple logs and combining them into just one log. And what I've got here for you is all the log rules to help you combine them um, along with their exponential rule equivalent that we did earlier this year and that you um, ideally did in Algebra 1 as well. Um, you're not really going to need these right now, so if you want to take a sticky note or something or your fingers and just cover those up so they don't distract you, you can. It's up to you. But we're going to be using these right here. So for the next type of equations we're going to solve, um, you sometimes will end up with multiple logs on one side of an equation, and you need to combine them together so you can do reverse PEMDAS. So we're going to be working on doing that combining. And these only work if the bases are the same. You will not have any problems um, in this class with different bases. There is a base change formula that I can show you if you are um, planning to take SAT or anything like that. But if you take pre-cal, you'll see it. So it's not too bad. But for right now, so let's look at number one. I've got log base 2 of x plus log base 2 of y. And what I want to do is look at my rules and see if there's one that shows a log plus a log. Um, and it's right here. So it's called my product rule. If I have a log plus another log and they both have the same base, then to combine them together, I take their arguments, so in this case the x and the y, and multiply them together, and then I end up with just the one log. Um, and that comes from this exponent rule here, um, that if you have two powers with the same base, you can add the exponents. So you may remember that rule from earlier this year. Um, this is the log equivalent of it. So for number one, I'm going to be using product rule. And then to put these together, I'm going to... Um, no, let me scoot over because I didn't really leave myself room to write. So let me come over here. So to put these together, I still have log base 2. And then I'm just going to do what the rule shows. I'm going to take my two arguments, the x and y, and multiply them together. So log base 2 of x times y. And that's it. Then they're combined into one log, and that's all you have to do. So then check out number 2. Pretty similar. Except I'm not adding two logs, I'm subtracting two logs. So, looks like I'll be using quotient rule. See, because this shows a log minus another log, and it says I can combine them by dividing the argument. So instead of x times y, I'm going to take x divided by y. So, um, quotient rule. And then I have, so log base 3. And then I'm going to take 4 divided by 5. And then my two logs are combined into 1, and I'm finished. Now this you could put in the calculator and get a number 4, but I, I don't need you to do that, so don't worry about that right now. So let's try a few more on the inside here. So on number three, notice I've got this number hanging out in front of the log. I really only have one log here, but um, there are certain circumstances I may not want that to there, for instance. So um, let's see if there's a rule that shows what to do with the number sitting in front of the log. So I'm looking at my rules. Oh, here's one. So this shows a y in front of the log, just a number. And it says that I can put the y as an exponent to the argument. So Basically, this is going to move up here as an exponent there. So I'm going to write log base 3 of x squared. The parentheses in this case, if you want to put them for clarity, you can put them right there. Um, but you don't necessarily need them. So uh, that, that's up to you. I'm just going to leave them off. Well, let's look at the next one. So I have log base 3 of 4x minus, oh, so I know, oh, by the way, that was product rule. Stop me when I forget stuff. Uh, okay, so uh, subtraction, I know I'm going to be using a quotient rule there. 
And then I know here I'm going to be able to take that coefficient and just like I did here. So take that coefficient and make it an exponent to the argument. So I'm going to be using power rule. Usually you want to start with power rule. So I might want to write that at the top. When you're combining, you want to start with power rule and then do quotient rule, product rule, just in the... Let me try that again. should be a P for product rule. And then do quotient rule and product rule just in the order they come in the problem. So kind of like doing a PEMDAS problem back when you were in middle school. So start with the exponent, the power rule. So I'm going to do this in two steps. So I have log base 3 of 4x and then minus, now go ahead and do the power rule. So log base 3 of y to the fifth power. And then I'll go ahead and do my quotient rule. So I'll combine the 4x and the y to the fifth as a uh, fraction or as a ratio. So log base 3 of 4x over y to the fifth. And then I'm done. They're combined into one log. And once they're combined into one log, then you can generally stop. You're, you're good. You're done. Oh, we're going to try two more. This one and then uh, this challenging one right here. You're not going to be tested on anything quite that difficult. Um, that's just there for fun. Okay, so number five. I've got... Again, I've got um, an opportunity to use power rule here, right there. So go ahead, and, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to write that out. So log, it's base 10, so I don't really have to write the 10. Plus log of 3y. And then that plus tells me that I can take my two arguments and multiply them together. So I'm going to be using product rule. So then I get log, again, base 10, you don't have to write the base 10. Then I'm going to take x to the 4th times 3y, which gives me 3x to the 4th y. And then I'm done. Now if you put these in a different order, if you put 3y times x to the 4th, that's fine too. Um, just generally, you start with the number and put them alphabetically, but that's all right either way. Okay, then number 6. Um, so I'm going to look for any power rule opportunities, and I do see two. There's one there. There's one there. So let's see. Log base 2 of x to the third minus log base 2. Now here you really do need the, ex uh, the parentheses, excuse me, because this whole thing gets raised to the fourth power. So x plus 3 to the fourth like that. And then plus log base 2 of y. Um, okay, so I got my power rule out of the way. Now I want to use quotient rule and product rule in the order they come in the problem. So the first thing I see is a subtraction, which is where I'm going to use quotient rule, just like I did up here. I'm just going to write them as um, a fraction. So log base 2 of x to the third over x plus 3 to the fourth. And then with this plus, that means I'm going to use product rule. So just like I did here, I'm going to multiply. And I want to multiply by y. So that's a 4. And then I'm just going to stick up times y there. And then you could pretty much be done. If you want, you can um, simplify it a little further from there if you want to. I'm just going to stick the y up here so it doesn't look white is messy. Although it's pretty messy looking already anyway. So anyway, there's that one. So I would like you to try seven and eight. Um, much simpler ones you got. Well, I'm not going to tell you what rule. You figure out what rule. All right, and then for the last four, um, we're just going to just practice going the other way a little bit. We're going to expand each one. This is not quite as useful as combining, so we're not going to do it very much. Um, I just want you to have that skill in case you do go on to another math class that uses it, or in case you see it on the SAT or something, at least you've done it before. 
So, number nine. Um, in this case, you want to start with quotient product in whatever order they come in the problem, and then do power rule. So you want to kind of, kind of like reverse PEMDAS, really. Multiply, divide, and then exponent. Um, and here, the only thing I have is, see, is um, something like this. I have a log, and the number is to a power. So I'm going to bring that power out to the front. So I have 3 times log base 5 of x. So next one, um, again, you're kind of doing reverse PEMDAS in this case. So I want to take care of this guy first. So I'm dividing by 5, which means I want to use quotient rule. So let's look at quotient rule. Quotient rule. So I just want to separate the denominator away with subtraction. So let's do that. So I have log base 2, and then the numerator goes first, 8x to the 4th, and then minus log base 2, 5. And then notice this right here, I'm multiplying 8 times x to the 4th. That's product rule. That means I can split these two up and add those logs together, so let's do that. So log base 2 of 8 and plus, and the next one is just going to have the x to the fourth, log base 2 of x to the fourth minus log base 2 of 5. Um, and then check if there's any power rules you can do. And there's one right here. I can bring that 4 out in front. So finally, I'm almost done. Log base 2 of 8 plus 4 times log base 2 of x minus log base 2 of 5. And uh, that's it for that one as far as splitting it up. So see if you can do it 11 and 12 then. Um, let me know if you need help with it. And then there is an assignment to pick up. And please remember to let me know when you're done with this so that I can help you on the assignment.